on this episode of Set Saturday, I review for you guys Set 30525, The Guardian Ship. So last night, I mistakenly uploaded my version of me um, unbagging this and also doing the time-lapse build of that. So if you want to go check that out, I'll pop that up top. I did that just for fun. I, I didn't really have much time last night to do a video, so I went ahead and just did that. And today I'll be talking down my actual review on why I like this set. So let's get into it. But first off, I want to tell you guys that this wasn't the set Saturday set that I intended to show. I intended to show Lego Classic set. 10709 Orange Creativity Box. This has been in my backlog for a while now, and I planned to review this today, but I forgot to. And yesterday, I happened to get the Guardian Ship for set Saturday, and that was supposed to be for next Saturday. So I hope you understand that. It was a little bit confusing, but now we're back on to the review. So here is the mini guardian ship. It's got a nice little window cockpit area. And right here it's got these two like orange flap things. Here's a little bit of a closer look at that. And then it has this um, almost reminds me of a coin piece right here. This is a um, I don't know if it's like a one by something or whatever, but it, it's a circle piece. I do know that. And it's in this nice gray. And it just reminds me of a quarter or a type of coin or something. So, yeah, there's that. And then they've got these Technic, or I think these are Technicals right here. And then they keep these two flaps together. There are these two um, translucent purple studs right there. Just look at the bottom. This is the base piece. And it's got these little um, purple translucent slider pieces, I like to call them. So, yeah, kind of see the basics of it. And then with this head, it's really interesting. And I really like it. It's got this piece right here, and it's got this white piece. And all you got to do is just snap it in. Just like that. And you can go down like this, as if it's kind of swooping down in a downward position. That's how it's yeah. supposed to be posed. But you can also do it this way to where it's just kind of straight as if it's just kind of waiting to be hopped into. I don't really know, but I think it's supposed to be this way. And then right here it's got this 1x4 slope, or not slope piece, um, smooth piece. And then here's a look at the back. It's got 1x3 orange pieces. And then on the back is the miniature version of Thor's Weapon Quest set, and this is actually a bigger set that you can get that comes with Rocket Raccoon, Groot, and of course Thor. And I thought this was so cool because it actually does connect into the Guardian ship, which comes in the um, Thanos Ultimate Battle or something like that, and they all connect together. So I think that's really cool that you can still do that. And there's this little piece right here, and you can connect this stud little sticking out piece right there see this is the best angle and it just snaps in like that so i think that's really cool and it almost kind of connects the line and i didn't know what that was whenever i first saw it. i thought it was like a little enemy ship or something but then i realized that as i was building i was like oh that's so clever that's so cool and then it's got these little orange pieces right here this is a really great poly bag. This is one of my favorite poly bags. Right next probably to like the hot dog stand, which I plan to review soon. Of course, after my Lego classic set that I still need to do. Sorry, sorry, I got a little bit triggered there. I had to kind of take a break for a minute. But yeah, that that's my little review on why I like the Guardian Ship poly bag set 30525, the Guardian Ship. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.